Feast your eyes, guys, on the class of 78. If you pulled up to the south of National with this, you'd be fitting right with the factory riders. What a fantastic machine. Guys, you're looking at a highly collectible Honda Motocross Fox CR250. It's a 1978 bristling with factory trickery from front to rear. These are the coveted Simmons forks, which a set of these forks in good condition is worth around $2,500 today if you can find them. Uh, these are in pristine condition, as is the Fox factory aluminum swing arm and the Fox air shocks. Fox air shocks also are worth around $1,500. You've got close to five grand in, in suspension upgrades on this bike. The motor's been redone, the frame's been repainted, the original exhaust pipe has been chromed. This came from the Randy Gillespie collection. It was in a climate controlled facility. It, it was actually radiant heat flooring where these were stored indoors with no windows in the building. So no UV uh, degradation. I believe I'm 99% sure this is the original factory paint. One of the nicest original factory paint jobs I've seen. I believe these are the original decals on this also indicating it's a low hour original that's been completely tricked out you can see the engines in mint condition the it's got a brand new air filter the car's been rebuilt the top ends fresh compression tested perfect at a i have the work order over here. i think it was 180 psi um pegs original pegs shifter everything's there it's a fox factory swing arm with the fox air shocks on there it's also been upgraded with the with the uh uh gold chain and sprockets, the motocross fox matching seat cover, um, gold handlebars. Take a look at this. This is original 1978 motocross fox uh, crossbar pad. That, that talk about unobtainium, these just don't exist anymore. A set of answer period correct gold bars. It's got the uh, Whirlpool throttle on there, Ori grips, polished aluminum levers. The forks are, uh, there's no Damage on the forks, usually they're all gouged up. These are in really good condition. I'm going to try and pull a picture of the Fox catalog, but the Simmons forks were actually uh, an option in, in the Fox catalog for the CRs back in, in 78 and I think 9 as well. But. It's basically a catalog bike. Now, we, we have the decals in stock if you wanted us to put a new decal on it. This one shows a little bit of shelf wear or damage on it right there. I didn't want to do that because we believe those are the original decals, so I didn't want to cover those up. But if you want a new set of decals, we'll pop those on there for you, uh, included with the price. Um, even the rear brake lever has been anodized gold. It's got the gold chain. Just a beautiful piece. You want to add anything about, about this, Junior? Or Kyle? Um, yeah, this thing is, it's, it's really just a, it's, it's a world-class piece. I mean, this is, this is something that does belong in a museum or a, uh, you know, a Honda dealership. You know, this is something, it's a, it's really a time capsule. When we got this bike, it, it, it looks pretty close to the way it does right now. I mean, realistically, Detail Shop didn't have to do too much. It uh, it was just an outstanding preserved piece. The parts on this bike really can't be replaced. You'd, you'd spend a small fortune, and you drive yourself crazy for months trying to uh, find like these Fox Air Shocks with the original stickers. I sold a set of these for Larry that were comparable for fifteen hundred. Actually, that set had a little bit more wear on the side. It looked like someone crashed with that set this is really as good as you can find them this is probably a new old stock set before they were mounted or, or they were mounted and never really ridden one of the things one of the things wizard said was it's one of the tallest dirt bikes he sat on it's probably we didn't measure it but it, it has an excess of a foot of travel which at the time was state of the art think about how far they came from 1974 to this right here and, and this is something you'd see jojo keller or one of the factory riders in 78 lining up to the gate at southwick uh, the original exhaust pipe being chromed is really a cool option. I've never seen that done before, um, and, and it's in mint shape. Yeah, there's no, there's no dents or damage on, on the pipe. One, one little. Oh, one. Yeah, I didn't even notice that tiny little ding. Just a beautiful piece, man. Um, if you have any questions about it, give us a call. 860-454-7024. I'm 95% sure this is the original front number plate. Also, 99% uh, 99 sure it's the original front number plate. These were upgraded, a uh, plastic, clear see-through. Side panels, period correct mod to kind of show off the, the Fox air shocks on it. Uh, it's got a nice new rear tire on it, nice new front tire on it and tubes. Just been serviced by the Wizard. Oil has changed, new air filter, uh, new spark plug. Car's been cleaned. Inside of the tank's been cleaned out. Now it was it was on static display at Randy's for some time, so we went through and refreshed, uh, changed the gear lube, fresh fuel, uh, 
cleaned the carb, jetted it. It's ready to go, man. It runs like a rape date freaking fast. I don't know if you could tell with me ripping up the driveway, but I'm 220 pounds naked, so um, I'm probably 230 w w with all the paraphernalia I got on me, easy 235, and it hauls ass at me on it. So put a guy like Kyle at 170, and, and this is a whole shot monster. Kick-ass piece. Hate to see it go. We actually have the twin to this bike in the museum, pretty much exactly without the Simmons forks already on display. Otherwise, uh, I'd want to keep it ourselves. I wish we could. Anyways, good luck baiting on it. God bless America.